stores probably um, as well as probably joining Matt's um, parents or family at um, the cemetery where we buried his great grandma after she passed um, we they were thinking of going today so that we could um, sort of you know decorate for Christmas for her um, at her gravestone um, so I'm waiting to find out if we are going to do that today, but I also want to go to, there's a thrift store close-ish to my house, and there's also, uh, one in Marietta over right by where the, um, what's it called, the, um, cemetery is? Sorry, it's really bright, um. But yeah, so I'm hoping to go to both of those probably. Um, we'll see. Depends on the baby. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm starving, so I think I'm gonna grab a chicken sandwich from Jack in the Box real quick. It's right here by my house. distracted right now so I think I can make it through the drive through we shall see pray for me <laughs> brush your fingers knock on wood whatever you gotta do whatever you do please do it but she's not screaming through the drive through so I'm at the drive through now so I'm gonna put you on pause well you can all hear how well that went not make it to the drive through made it mostly through the drive through and then as I was coming up to the window she started crying so, whatever it's all right got myself a little value drink as well which I normally don't get because one we just try to drink as much water as possible two it's a better value to get the biggest size but I was trying not to like drink a lot or spend a lot so I just really wanted a little bit of spray. Oops. I'll sing this song that only makes her happy. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray.
big uh, traffic, so I'm just gonna turn here and get around it. I have no idea what that was. Um, there was a bunch of lights of all different kind of emergency vehicles, whether cop, uh, fire, uh, ambulance, and whatnot. So I just turned on the light ahead and uh, I'm just gonna go around. while I was eating because it was just me eating which is not flattering to watch I'm sorry anyway we are almost to the thrift store it's called Savers I'm super excited to go to the thrift store I'm probably gonna look for all kinds of stuff I'm probably just gonna dawdle around there until I get a call or text from Matt's mom letting me know whether we're gonna go to the cemetery or not and when she wants to give my older child back to me. I think she's having a one-on-one -on -one day with her, at least possibly, um, which is super sweet because she hasn't gotten a chance to do that yet. She wanted to do that soon after the baby was born, um, but none of us have really done that yet. Um, so. He's probably just spending some extra time with her. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm not gonna complain. Emily gets a little extra attention, which she needs, um, and I've been failing to give her as much as she needs, the way she needs, um, and I'm fully aware of that. Um, I'm working on it, but yeah. Um, so it's awesome that she's getting a chance to get some extra attention in and um, <clears throat> you know do things that she's used to doing you know she used to always go to church with her grandma um, and she hasn't done that in a while you know a couple of months um, since the baby was born and all that so um, I'm gonna see if maybe they want to take her every Sunday and like that can her thing like as long as she wants to go um we don't take her to the gym class anymore because i it got to the point where i literally had to bribe her and force her to go um like every week so it was not worth spending money on every month when she didn't want to do it of course now as soon as her tuition ran out which was a couple weeks ago now all of a sudden this week she's been begging to go to she calls it her big kid class and I'm like seriously kid but I explained to her that we can't do it just yet um, you know we'll see how it goes but I'm gonna try dance with her or try her in like a dance class because one it'd be cheaper two it's something that she would love I'm sure um, she loves dance and, and do all that fun stuff so like I know she'll enjoy it um, I'm gonna see if I can get her in class with her little best friend um, yeah we'll see how that goes but anywho so I'm pulling up to the thrift store right now I'm not gonna record while I'm in there I'm not fancy enough to do that yet and not comfortable enough so I'm just gonna until I'm done parking and I'll let you guys know what I found after I come out. Let's see if we can find a really good like upfront parking spot. Always trying to find the best parking spot as close to the front as possible. Dang it! I forgot I was gonna bring the things that I'm donating. Oh well. I'll bring it another day. Uh, yeah I think we'll park up front after all. There's a spot right back here, but I'm gonna park right here. These gals are all uh, just standing in the middle of the parking spot.
not paying attention to the life or that you know that's where cars go sorry it was a I'm assuming mom and like four daughters is there one two three yeah just a bunch of girls and um they're all dressed up from church I'm sure they're all dressed up fancy and um they were all just kind of taking their time walking across the street and like stopped dead stopped in the parking spot that I was going to go into and it's just like pay attention baby like you're a mom you're supposed to anywho let's get out before the baby gets fuzzy okay so I spent way more than I should have and I did not get either thing that I mentioned wanting to get um I did get some awesome things I got a couple cute like five um cute like baby clothes things for both girls um they were just like needed to happen um and I got a lamp for the girls room it is their whole room is like a classic poo theme and I'm trying to get like actual like classic poo decoration stuff bit by bit but cheaply and so the the like brand new um classic poo stuff is normally like really expensive so I never buy it for full price so I was super excited to see the lamp I did they didn't have the lamp shade but I can make that work I can just get a lamp shade and alter it or just whatever um point being I got the actual lamp and it's super cute um I'll show later I also got um a gift for Matt's grandma and um Oh, and I got a couple of, um, what's it called, like Christmas decorations for the house um, that we are lacking. We don't have like any decorations for the house. We have Christmas tree and ornaments. And every year I go and get one of those like Dollar Tree little snowman steaks or Santa steaks or like whatever steak is there. Um, just stick in the front yard. But that's all we've got so far. We have not put lights in the house ever I always want to but we just never have time or the money to do so it's mostly always just time um because the lights that we have for the Christmas tree are technically indoor outdoor lights and we've got like extra of those and plus they're only a couple bucks a box the ones that we get and they work really well and they're lovely um but yeah I haven't even put up our Christmas tree or anything. We're super late. Today is January, or, I'm sorry, <laughs> January. Uh, today is December 17th. So we're super late on that. We just haven't had the time. Matt never gets days off or anything. And we, I've been waiting for him, waiting for him. I didn't want to put it up without him because we, um, you know, we always do that together. Plus, something he gets to watch Emily do. Um, Elder D, of course, can't do any of that yet, but she's there. You know, this is her first Christmas, so at least that's something. So it's just like a special thing. Um, right now, I'm heading to the cemetery. I told you it's right around the corner from the um, thrift store that I was at, so it's, I'm almost there already. Um, it's just up the road. cemetery we left the cemetery Emily went to stay at Matt's mom's for a while I picked her up right around bedtime um, she wanted to stay and hang out at their house uh, and so I said that was fine um, and so then I went and picked her up and then we came home and she went right to bed she's been doing amazing with bedtime I literally tell her okay go get in bed and I'll come check on you in a few minutes she gets in bed most of the time it's my bed but whatever um she gets in bed and 10 minutes later she's knocked out like 
she doesn't fight me anymore. It used to be she would lay in bed awake for hours, just not going to sleep, finding any excuse to stay up. But um, every night, she's she's good now, um, which is amazing and very helpful. But um, we came home. Um, baby was fussy for a while, so I haven't done much. But I just uh, got some good progress done on on the girls' room. And now I'm about to do some dishes and go to bed. I'm exhausted. I'm going to get up early and clean some more um, before Mac gets home. But, or at least that's my goal. We'll see if I actually wake up. But I set like 10 alarms, so I should. Um, anyway, I'm talking super quiet because I do not want to wake the baby. I want to get this done as fast as possible. So, good night. We'll see you next time.